Hi, welcome to this hands-on session on Databricks. I am Aliza Tanvir and in this lesson we will learn how to run machine learning linear regression on a dataset and how to calculate RMSE and R2 on the dataset. By the end of the lesson, you will have learned how to run a linear regression using machine learning library or MLlib. Then, you'll also learn how to look at your result and then compare your training result with your test result to verify that your model is correct. We will start by creating a notebook, give a suitable name to your notebook and for the default language select Python. We will start by loading the data into the data frame object. The data is going to be from the normalized data table that we created in the previous lesson. I will display the data frame to verify that the data has been successfully loaded into the data frame object. Upon running, you will see that the data has been loaded and all the columns are present. For running the regression, I only need the quality column and the normalized column so I am going to load only these two columns into the data frame object for future use. Now we will actually run the regression and for that we need certain libraries so I am going to import the library for linear regression from the package pyspark.ml.regression. This library is the most commonly used. It is not perfect but it will do the job. Now we will instantiate the linear regression and inside its parameter we are going to pass the label column as quality and for the features column we are going to pass the normalized column. Now I will split the data set into the training data and the test data by using the random split function of the data frame object and I am going to split it on the basis of 75% to 25%. Then I will create the model and then I will run the query which is going to split our data into two parts which is the test data and the training data. Now we can start evaluating the results and for that we are going to run the model as a summary. I am also going to calculate the root mean square error and the R square. The R square represents the variance of data between the observation value and the predicted value mean. If the value of R square is 1, it means that there is 100% match between the two types of data. So the higher the value of R square, the better the data set is. Whereas RMSE depicts the average of squared errors and the lesser the value of RMSE depicts that the better our data set is because it has less error. After execution, you can see that the RMSE value is quite closer to 1 but the R2 value is lesser than 1 and we wanted R2 to be closer to 1 and RMSE to be less than 1. This means that our data set is not a very good data set. Now have a look at how similar our training dataset is to our test dataset and for that we are going to import a new library which is the regression evaluator. I will instantiate the regression evaluator by passing features as the label column and the prediction column is created when we created our model as prediction. Now I will transform the model to fit it into the prediction column. Now I am simply going to calculate and print the root mean square error value and the R square value for the test data to, and then I am going to compare the RMSC and the R square values between the test and the trained data. Upon executing the query you can see that there is a big difference between the RMSC and R square value of the training data and the test data. Let's have a look at the predictions calculated by the regression evaluator library as well and compare it with the value of the quality. Let's do one more thing. I am going to order it on the basis of quality. Let's have a look at the value of the prediction. You can see that for the quality 3, the value of prediction is 4. For the value of quality 4 and 5, the value of prediction is around 4 and 5 too. Let's move towards the higher value and for the maximum value 100, it is also 5. This shows that whether the value of quality is low or high, the value of prediction always stays between 4, 5 and 6. And this is how you can run machine learning regression on a dataset using Databricks. This is all for this video. 